welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. And I have a huge grocery haul for you today. I actually went to four, yes, four stores to get this week's haul. Did my once a month, every three week Costco haul, so you're going to see that, as well as Walmart grocery pickup, Trader Joe's and Rosars, which is a local grocery store. Again, I'm not sure if that is a nationwide store, but it is local in my area. So I stopped for just a few things there. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's huge grocery haul. is this week's ginormous grocery haul. So this week I ended up going to several stores. I started with a Walmart pickup to get my Clio bars mainly and my ground beef that I really love. Then from there I went to Trader Joe's to grab my produce, Costco to do my monthly or every three week Costco trip. And lastly, a quick stop at my local Rosars, which is a, I believe a local store to just grab a couple of things really there for good culture cottage cheese. But of course they didn't have any. So I'll be going back later this week for that. But man, oh man, I've got a haul and not pictured is Diet Coke, of course, and Coors Light, of course, both of which are for my husband. So let's jump into this huge grocery haul. So I'm actually going to start right here so I can put these in the freezer. So this is an ice cream that one of the receivers that my husband delivers milk to, he actually is the milkman for a local dairy, told him about this ice cream called Cotto. So this is ice cream made from avocado. It's non-dairy. Everything in this is organic. It's GMO. It's all the good things she said. It's absolutely delicious. So we went ahead and added this to our Walmart order. This is another reason we did a Walmart pickup. This one is the mint chocolate chip. Here is the nutritional information. I'll put the points, of course, here on the screen. It has stellar ingredients. So I am really excited to try this. So I grabbed the mint chocolate chip. It was $4.97 per pint. So about the same price as Enlightened is. And then for my husband and for me, myself, he does not a big chocolate person, but he wanted the cookies and cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these back in the freezer. But if you are looking for a clean ice cream, I found the best price at Walmart at my local grocery store, Rosars. They were $8 a pint, which is insane. So I'm gonna pop these back in the freezer and we'll carry on. So at Costco, I picked up some more of the acid reducers. We really like these. We take one a day and it really helps with any type of indigestion or heartburn. And it's a steal at Costco, $12.99 for this pack. 42 tablets, so basically it would last you 42 days. Or for us, it's just a little bit less than a month. So I just buy it every time I make a trip to Costco. Also, of course, I had to restock my vital proteins, collagen, peptides, best price ever at Costco. If you do not have a Costco or a Costco membership, these are linked in my Amazon store. So check it out if you wanna order these. Absolutely, positively, my favorite collagen ever. It dissolves great, has no flavor, so I bought another one of those. My husband really, really likes these yogurt pretzels from Trader Joe's, so I decided to go ahead and buy him another bag to throw in his lunch. They're not the most point friendly, they don't have the best ingredients, but my husband loves them, so he requested these from Trader Joe's. Also, I grabbed from my local store just some outdoor buns. I tried to find the ones with the lowest calories, aka points, and these are them. They are still pretty point heavy, but we're making a sub sandwich for dinner this next week, so I grabbed those. Of course, I picked up my very favorite organic shredded mozzarella from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite cheese. You can actually have an entire ounce or a quarter of a cup for only two points. That's really, really good for a non-fat-free, non-light cheese, and this cheese is delicious. Also, while I was there, I picked up some more organic oven roasted turkey breast. I really, really like this chick turkey breast a lot. It has perfect ingredients, literally absolutely perfect ingredients. So I picked that up. I've been liking wraps and little sandwiches and stuff, and I like to put this on my avocado toast, so I grabbed that for the week. Also grabbed a dozen eggs, just plain Jane eggs from Rosar's for my husband. He actually wants egg salad sandwiches for lunch this next week. 99 cents a dozen. I prefer pasture eggs, but my husband doesn't really care, so grab those. Of course, per the use at my Walmart pickup, I was able to get two more. There was a limit of two pounds of my 93.7 very favorite grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. 
amazing price. $6.50 a pound, which at Rosars I looked, it's $9 to $11 a pound. So Walmart is killer for grass-fed beef if you can find it at your local store. So I picked up two more of those. I do have a recipe coming out that needs chicken sausage and Walmart is out of my favorite Sam's Choice chicken apple. I'll pop a picture of that in here for you guys. That's my all-time favorite sausage. It's only two points, but they're out. So next best thing is this organic sweet Italian chicken sausage. I will, of course, put the points here on the screen for you guys, but I wanted this for a recipe and hopefully Walmart brings back those Sam's Choice ones because those are so delicious. Grab some yogurts, of course, at Walmart. That's the only place I can find the 4%, which is actually my very favorite Siggy's yogurt. So I grabbed two of the vanilla. And then what I ended up with for cottage cheese is this organic Nancy's probiotic cottage cheese. This is whole milk cottage cheese, my very favorite. You guys know I love the good culture, but they were out. So I grabbed one of these. It was really expensive. I think it was $5.50. And I'm hoping to go back later this week and grab some of the good culture. But this will do until then. Also, while I was there, I noticed, well, first of all, this flavor of Siggy's I've never seen, orange and ginger. Uh, yes, please. This is the 0% milk fat, which doesn't have all the good nutritional benefits of full fat yogurt. But this will be great in a parfait. These are only three smart points and they were reduced to $1.20 a piece, which is pretty darn good. They do expire, I think on the 17th. So I'll just have to make sure that I eat those up in the next couple of days. At Trader Joe's, I restocked my organic crumbled feta cheese. I love their feta. I love their blue cheese. Really, really love their blue cheese. They just didn't have any. So I ended up with feta. Also, I grabbed a can of pineapple tidbits. I need this for a recipe. And then of course, whatever's left, as long as you drain the juice off of this, it's zero points. So what's ever left, we'll just have for snacks. Also at Rosars in the clearance section, I found this marinara. Now I always make the skinniest dish. I like it a lot better, but you guys, this was $2.99. This marinara is normally $10 a jar. It it had really good calories, so I think it's going to be fairly low in smart points. Fantastic ingredients and organic because tomatoes are on the dirty dozen. So I like to buy always, always buy those organic. So I will let you guys know how this is. And if you've tried that, let me know down in the comments. Also at Costco, we grabbed these OXO toilet brush and canister sets. Two of our bathrooms needed new toilet brush holders and I was holding out to go to Ross or TJ Maxx, but they're still not open in my area. So for $19.99, you actually get two wands, two head replacements, and two of the storage containers. So really, really good deal. Auto open and close, so you don't have to touch the ickiness. So grab those. I thought that was actually a really, really good price at Costco. And then at Trader Joe's, I restocked my red wine vinegar because I'm completely out. And I also picked up another container of the Organic Valley Sweet Cream Half and Half. Now, if you guys are looking for a coffee creamer, that's an actual creamer with good ingredients. Actually, this has perfect ingredients. Organic Valley flavored creamers are the only ones that I can find without natural flavors. So I really like them. They are a little higher in smart points, but I'll take the points because it's delicious and you don't need very much, honestly, to get that really creamy sweetness in your coffee. So I grabbed that. Also at Trader Joe's, I was excited to see they brought back the Trader Joe's organic sugar cones. I think these are one or two smart points a piece. And I thought, how good would this be with that avocado ice cream? Yum. So I grabbed those at Trader Joe's. I think they're seasonal. So if you're interested, grab them before they are gone. And you can see I have a little obsession with the Clio bars. So I ended up getting four strawberry and they max you out at four, but I went back to the Clio bars and added four more and it let me. So I was able to get eight of the vanilla. So these are my very favorite thing. They have fantastic ingredients. I shared this in my popular WW foods that I no longer eat video that was posted on Thursday. I'll link it down below for you guys. Great option, replacement for sweet treats and ice cream. They are truly delicious. It is like chocolate covered cheesecake goodness. So I'm stocked up for that for a while because I don't plan on doing a Walmart pickup next week. So I wanna make sure that I was stocked up for a while. Also at Walmart, I picked up my Foster Farm Simply Raised Ground Turkey. This is the 99%. I like to have this on hand. In my area, I cannot find 99% organic turkey breast. So this one is the next best thing. So I grabbed that. 
We needed some sirloin steak for a dinner and these were on sale. They were $2 off. So it was $11.89 for these big steaks. I'm just going to pop them in the freezer until we have them for dinner. But sirloin is one of the leanest cuts of steak. So it is the lowest smart points. And I just cut off all the rest of the visible fat and we are good to go. So excited for that. And then while I was at Costco, I went ahead and picked up another pack of their organic chicken breast. I should have a butcher box coming here pretty soon. And they, the chicken in that is the best. It's seriously so good. But I didn't want to run out of chicken because uh, chicken is a staple on WW. So I grabbed these organic breasts at Costco. It was $24.60 for about five pounds. It's $5 a pound essentially, which is really good for organic chicken. So I'm just going to throw that in the freezer. Of course, I restocked my Trader Joe's jicama wraps obsessed with these. I have been having these with taco meat and cheese and sour cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so good. They're zero points because all it is is jicama. So I'll have four of these thin wraps and make it as the shell of my taco. And it's so amazingly good. The only caution I will give you on these is their expiration date is not very long. So today is the 14th and these only last until the 20th. So not very long of an expiration date. So if you do pick these up, make sure you eat them right away. Also, I restocked my big pack of kombucha. I've been having kombucha almost every day. You get six bottles for $15, which is a really good deal because they are generally a little over $3 per bottle. So grab that at Walmart. Walmart is actually the only place that I've seen these kombucha combo packs. So grab that. And lastly, before produce, some cascade for my brand new dishwasher that is being installed on Monday. Cannot wait. I'll be showing you guys that in next week's What I Eat in a Day so you can see my new appliances. So I got some more dish soap at Costco. Now I got a ton of produce. So let's jump into that. First are some organic cremini mushrooms for a dinner recipe. Great price at Trader Joe's and these mushrooms are so good. I also saw these and I hadn't seen these yet and I don't know if it's because they're just coming into season, but these are the organic apricots. So I thought this would be kind of nice to have on hand this week for a fun fruit. I also needed some cherry tomatoes for a recipe. And like I mentioned, tomatoes are on the dirty dozen. So I always, always buy those organic. A couple of red onions. These I generally don't buy organic because the little casing here on the onion protects it from the pesticide. So I grabbed both of these at Trader Joe's. So as you can see though, I have huge red onions. Who else Leave it in the comments when they go to Trader Joe's and it's a buy, it's a price per piece, buy the biggest ones they can find. That'd be me. So these are some huge old red onions, 99 cents a piece. Also grabbed some green onions at my local Rosar store that I needed for a recipe. Trader Joe's didn't have any green onions. Restock some organic zucchini. I actually need this for a dessert recipe and then whatever's left, we like to just roast this up in the oven with other veggies and potatoes and have it as a side dish. Grabbed another bag of baby spinach. I'm going to put this into individual little bags and I'm out of greens for smoothies. So this will just go into my freezer for my smoothies. Also grabbed a big bag of organic lemons from Trader Joe's. It was such a great price. It was less than $2 for all these lemons. And you guys know I've been really liking the lemons in my water. Organic sweet potatoes. I need this for a recipe and I've been craving sweet potatoes. I know it's weird, but I like these too because they're really, really small. So I feel like I'm getting a lot when I'm weighing them out because they're small. So I feel like I'm really getting a good serving of sweet potatoes. A pineapple for a recipe. And then of course, whatever is left, we will definitely eat that. Picked up a couple of red peppers. I needed two peppers for two different recipes. A bag of my teeny tiny avocados. I've mentioned this before, but these are my favorite because I keep them in my fridge and they don't ripen. They literally can sit in my fridge for a month. And when I want to eat one, I throw it in my fruit bowl and it ripens within a couple of days. But these are so small that I generally eat the whole avocado. And that way I don't have any waste. It doesn't turn brown. And I feel good that I get to eat the whole avocado. So I highly recommend these teeny tiny ones if you can pick these up in your area. Some fresh basil. I needed this for a couple of recipes. Basil is my favorite. I love basil. So I grabbed that. And for a recipe, I, it called for sweet peppers. So luckily, I wasn't sure Trader Joe's, thank God, had organic ones. But these are the mini peppers. And this is for a recipe. These are really good, you guys, just for snacking too. Grabbed a lot of fruit at Costco. Picked up some organic raspberries. 
organic blueberries and organic strawberries. These look delicious. So Costco was my place for fruit for the week. So that is everything, my friends. Holy moly, we had a haul. So let's jump right into what I have on my meal plan and what you will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. All right, let's jump into this week's meal plan. As always, I'm using my Carriel meal planner. Isn't she beautiful? They still are not available on the website due to having to lay off all of their employees, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus right now. All they have is the digital download, but I will let you guys know as soon as the actual meal planner is available. Highly, highly recommend. If you are interested in the digital downline, download, there'll be a link down in the description box for 10% off of that. So for this week, we are in the week of May 16th through May 21st. So today is Saturday. We will be going out to dinner. We've been supporting a local business once a week by ordering takeout, which has been really, really awesome. Sunday, I'm going to be making a loaded wedge salad with chicken. I'm so excited. Little disappointed that there was no blue cheese at Trader Joe's, so we're gonna sub with feta. It's still going to be absolutely delish. Monday is a leftover night because I like to do jazzercise at 4.30. Tuesday, we're doing Italian sausage sheet pan. This should be really good. It's all one sheet pan, all your dinner on one pan, easy peasy cleanup. The, usually they're really good because everything gets nice and roasted, so super excited for that. Wednesday, we're doing a spaghetti and meatball sandwich. So that's what I bought those hoagie rolls for. Again, how good does that sound? Thursday will be a leftover night just because we will have a lot of leftovers from these other nights. And then Friday, we're going to barbecue and do some teriyaki steak kebabs. That's why I bought the pineapple and the steak. And I'm here for the kebabs. You guys know I love barbecue season. So that is what is for dinners for this next week. Now on the back is where I plan what I'm doing for my meal prep. You will be seeing all of these recipes on Monday. So for breakfast, I'm making an egg casserole. So this is kind of a clean eating, all in one, everything in breakfast in one dish. Super excited for that. Lunch, I'm making a quinoa bowl. So this is something new and different. This is a big spin on any other type of bowl that I've made in the past, so I'm excited for that. And really the star of this week's meal prep show is zucchini bread. I am making clean eating zucchini bread, you guys. Zucchini bread, that's WW friendly with clean ingredients can't wait so stay tuned for all of these recipes on monday's meal prep video and again these are my dinners for the week so i will make sure that my Kiriel discount code is down below if you guys do want to support them by ordering the digital version but i'll definitely definitely let you know when the hard bound is back in stock thank you for joining me on another weekly my ww grocery haul Whew, we did some shopping my friends we have quite the haul i am so excited for this week's recipes and that meal prep zucchini bread. Uh, yes, please. I can't wait to share that with you on Monday. Make sure you guys are checking out the description box below for the links to all of my favorite things, discount codes, the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We are just shy of 15,000 members. It's a great, wonderful, supportive place to be. So we'd love it if you would head over and join us there. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. I do a grocery haul every single Saturday. So make sure you're subscribe just hit that little subscribe button and the bell located right next to that just so you're notified when new videos are uploaded give this one a big thumbs up if you are here for the grocery haul and meal plan and thank you guys for taking time out of your busy saturday to watch today's video i really appreciate it and of course i'll see you in my next video bye guys funny how the story goes little hope of bigger dreams uh -huh.